At that time, the 318 cubic inch V8 really wasn't offering much performance, which was fine because the big block engines of the time did offer good performance. But that meant that there was one big category of Mopar engines missing at the time, which was a very high performance version of their small block engines. And that's exactly where the 340 slots into place. Right off the bat, it offered an impressive 275 horsepower and 340 pound feet of torque, but many Mopar enthusiasts say this is underrated and the real power figure is closer to 325 horsepower. The advertised 275 75 horsepower was for NHRA stock classification to make it more competitive. You might consider this cheating to some degree, but that's just how the automotive world works. Compared to the existing 318 cubic inch engine, the 340 not only got that extra 22 cc's of displacement, but a dual timing chain system, larger intake and exhaust valves inside of higher flowing heads, a high rise dual plane intake, larger carburetors, larger camshaft, improved oil pump, different crankshaft, and much more. Plain and simple, the 340 was miles ahead of the 318 in terms of performance.